So sometimes when I wear certain shirts within my videos, which tends to be a lot, I love my graphic t-shirts and I love my branded t-shirts, especially if it's from a company whose product or service I use regularly, someone will make a joke or question whether or not I'm sponsored by that company if I'm wearing their shirt. To a degree, that might make sense. And in most productional or professional production environments, that tends to be true. Like, the only reason that they're wearing a branded shirt of any kind is because it's a sponsorship. I want to address this in a formal, official manner, and that way I can reference this video whenever I want. Um, in this example, I am sponsored by cats, because I have a cat on my shirt. Um, but... The answer is exclusively no, 99%, like 99 or 100% of the time. Like, I can't think of a single shirt that I have right now from a company that I'm actually sponsored by. I have, I'm trying to think of all the shirts that I wear. I've got Control Freak, I've got Vessel, I've got Discord, I've got Famebit. That's all the ones I can think of that are actual just company logos. I don't even like, like I don't like the whole, let's all wear the brands that we wear on our actual shirts. Let me have just a... Uh, I don't remember, Nautica USA or Amber Crombie and Fitch labeled on my shirt. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. If I'm going to wear a shirt with something on it, it's going to be something cool. And, but when it comes to companies whose service or product that I use and appreciate, especially if it's free, providing free promotion in exchange, since I usually don't have the money to actually donate to projects I'm working with, although that is the better option, seems like a good deal in my book, especially if I get the shirts for free, which usually happens. I also have a BitTorrent Sync one. I got the BitTorrent Sync shirt as a Twitter giveaway randomly. I've bought most of my Control Freak shirts, although I got my first one back in 2012 before they even sold them. Because I am an affiliate with them, I have gotten free products for review for them from them, and I do have an affiliate code with them. But I don't, like I don't, they don't give me money or anything, especially not for wearing their shirt. Same thing with FameBit. I did enough work with the FameBit platform to reach a certain milestone. And they sent me some shirt and some sunglasses and stuff, and they do that for everyone. Vessel sent me a shirt for coming on board with their new platform. They're not giving me any money. In fact, I haven't even made money from my Vessel videos. It's just a shirt to represent them. And so, yeah, if I wanted to be super professional and super ethical and all that stuff, then when I have the resources available to me to allocate to such a, frankly, tedious and cumbersome endeavor, I can go through and make an entire wardrobe of just plain plain colored or patterned non-branded or either custom graphic shirts and backdrops and things like that but that costs money it costs quite a bit of time cuz especially since I'm not a fashion person I don't actually you know have a whole lot of fashion expertise to invest in this it has time to invest into assembling a wardrobe that would work with a built backdrop that doesn't have a bunch of brand and company logos and posters and stuff in the background and that would represent my theme of my content. I don't have that available, so I work with what I have and I use shirts to express myself. And so, the answer, no, I'm not sponsored by any company whose shirt I'm wearing unless I specify it in the video. Like if I'm like, by the way, this video is sponsored by Cats, come check out Cats, link in the description below at cats.com slash eposfox, then yes. But otherwise, no, I'm just wearing a shirt that I like. And I like having a separate set of work shirts. Although, I would love to replace all of those shirts with just custom graphic shirts from other YouTubers and things like that. Like, I have a shirt from uh, my Linus Tech Tip shirt. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by them. And then I have a new shirt that I like that's really, really cool. It's a graphic shirt from Total Biscuit. So, if I could replace all of my shirts with that for work stuff, for videos, that'd be pretty cool. But again, those are expensive. Those are like, those can get up to $30 per shirt. $30 for a single freaking shirt. So... I just wanted to formally address this in a video so I can point people back to this instead of typing it out every single time, so.